Do you think a depressed person could make this? What's up, nerds? Today I made some corn muffins from Ryan Lasala's Reverie. In honor of Kane's snack that he eats in the roost, the recipe will be in the description if you want to try this out. I feel like I should have a joke about these muffins, but it's gonna be too corny. <laughs> the muffins are ready to go into a 400 degree oven for about 13 to 17 minutes, so we'll check up on them then. All right, so I really like this book for multiple reasons. One, I like this book because it gives me an excuse to bake corn muffins and drink a blue Slurpee. Two, with books like Chain of Gold and Chosen Ones and Crescent City, it was nice to have a little bit of a lighter read in between all of those before my world is completely shattered in March by all of those authors. Three, it mentions a Victorian era, and anything that mentions a Victorian era can't be bad. I don't make the rules, it just, it can't. And number four, the diversity in this book is so important. And yes, while the LGBTQ plus representation in this book is crucial, the diversity that I'm talking about is finally allowing violas and viola players the recognition that they deserve. Like, I don't know about you, but I have the following conversation at least weekly, if not, like, every six seconds. How long have you been playing? <laughs> yep, since third grade, so... <laughs> Yeah, it's a looks like a really nice violin, so. Oh, yeah. Um, it's a viola. So you know it has the C string. Do you know how many famous characters there are that get to play the violin? Jim Carstairs, it's Sailor Neptune, even Sherlock Holmes. You know who gets to play the viola? Me. You know who reads Alto Clef? Me. If you're not gonna read it, for the cool fantasy dreamscapes that Kane and his friends go through, you can like at least read it for the viola. The three V's. Viola, Victorian, and Vegemite? I <laughs> know there's no Vegemite in the books. We're gonna go ahead and give one a shot. And see if they're worthy of the roost, which is where Kane eats his. I mean, it's a corn muffin, what's not to like? If you also like this book, you might like Anomaly by Tanya Cooper, and you could give Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children a watch. I am gonna be totally honest with you, it has the same kind of dreamscape Victorian children vibe that this book does, but all I remember from it is what I watched when I was recovering from wisdom tooth surgery. So who really knows? what part was real in that movie and what part I like dreamed up in my recovery hazy medicine phase. We're gonna go give a puppy safe corn muffin to my dog and see what she thinks. Totally forgot that I have to go meet my mom so genuinely have to wrap this all up. I'll see you guys for another baking escapade. Um, don't forget to appreciate violas, buy this book, and toss a coin to your witcher. You have your violin. It's a viola. <laughs> <laughs> it's a viola, guys. <laughs>